85 feet left. The Gordie Howe International Bridge getting ready to close the gap between Michigan and Canada. And to celebrate, it's time for a tour up top. That's right, we're going up. Is uh, daylight really messing with you? Ooh, that's high up. The towers are 722 feet in the air. That's about how tall the Renaissance Center is. What's it like working so high up? Uh, to be honest, I was afraid of heights when I first came out here. Uh, I've gotten over that. Um, it's exhilarating being up there. It's it's amazing views of the city and, and down river and yeah, it's great. Jane Griffor is a labor foreman. She and thousands of workers have made steady progress to build what will be the 10th longest cable stayed bridge in the world. This has been a long day coming and uh, to go up there and, and then get down to the end and you can actually see the Canadian workers and they're almost basically right there. I mean, yeah, it's been a lot of uh, hours and hard work to get there. So yeah, it's very exciting. Stunning views of the Detroit River as construction equipment scurries across the bridge, constantly making progress. Towering cables still need to be flown up and the final two sections connecting the pieces of the bridge should be placed within four to six weeks. We anticipate opening the bridge in fall of 25, so there'll be a little bit of time after construction is completed where we'll be doing our final testing, um, ensuring that everything is working. The pricing for the tolls between the U.S. and Canada not yet set. The bridge expected to generate commerce between countries and streamline travel for passengers connecting I-75 and Highway 401. The Gordie Howe International Bridge expected to stand tall for at least 125 years. In Detroit, Scott Walchek, Fox 2 News.